What's up, everybody? It's showtime <laughs> at the Apollo. This episode is brought to you by our endorsers, our wonderful endorsers. Uh, first one is Ant Cambio Anthony. He works at Atomic Salon in Johnston. If you need a shape up or a line up, whatever you want to call it, what kind of you know in Jersey they call them shape ups. They call them temps here. Like if you want a temp. Well, no, that's a whole different kind of hair- haircut. What's a shape up? Shape ups like you know you line your shit. That's called a temp here. No, a temp is like where you just do this. And- temple area. Bro, a temp is fucking the line, the line up. A temp fade. Oh, no, 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 a little no. bit of fade right here. That's a temp. That's a temp fade. Are you talking about a lineup? No. Yeah. A lineup and a shape up are two different are the same thing, but we call them a shape up in Jersey. Okay, we call But it anyway, up here. go see Aunt Cambio at Atomic Salon in Johnston. Do you know what street that is? Yo, it's on Atwood Ave. He's been in the business for Hey, y'all years came all aggressive. He got you from fucking scissor cuts to designs. <laughs> if you need some corn rolls, go fuck somebody else. I don't know. Go and fuck somebody else. <laughs> <laughs> I was going to say go fuck your mother, but I real quick. That was aggressive. Also, Division Street Auto, 595 Division Street, Pawtucket. Go see my man, George. Oneyville Tire in Providence. That is at 86 Plainfield Street, 401-821-1800. Salt the camera. Top Showroom Gallery. Top Electric Showroom and Gallery. That's at 120 Point Street, 401-861-0695. That's for any kind of lighting, sconces, indoor lighting, outdoor lighting. That's where Derek works. That is where Derek works. Holla. Holla. Derek. Derek. Uh, <laughs> What's funny is they probably can't hear you and they only hear him. <laughs> That's true. So I probably sound like an idiot. <laughs> Standard. Right. <laughs> uh, Donkey Dodgers Poker. If you're looking for something to do over the weekdays, the weekends, Check out Donkey Dodgers Poker. You can find them on Facebook or Google. It's pretty much just a $20, $25 buffet ticket, and the poker tournament is free. That could enter you into a $2,000 guaranteed monthly event if you win a nightly event. Also, you could win your way into the World Series of Poker, which is a $10,000 buy-in. Check them out. Uh, You can find them on Facebook. JW and Sun Construction. Man, I just want to see how that looks later. <laughs> they specialize in kitchens, baths, interior finish, flooring, siding, decks, and roofs. Go find my man, John. He's a he's a good person, very uh, honest. I'm probably going to use you soon, John, if you're listening. Uh, sex. Legends Pub and Grub. Find them in Cranston. They're Cranston's own favorite bar. It's where their, we are. Their food is amazing, and their libations are was wonderful. Beverages. I don't know. Gotcha. Beverages, <laughs> hospitality. Beverages. Did I miss anybody? I don't think I missed did anybody. You get Dory? I did get Dory. You got Division Street. You got Division Street. You got Aunt Cam. Yep. DDP. Yes, J-W. sir. Tops, bro. You're all over that shit. All righty. Tonight we have our good friend, Brittany. Hi, Brittany. Hi. What up, Brittany? We're about to shoot some shit. Whoop, whoop. Let's go. Oh, yeah. Time to talk some shit with the J Squared Podcast. Here we go. So, here we are. It is Tuesday. And we're fucking drinking and talking shit like we should. We have our very good guest here, Brittany. Say hi, Brittany. Hi. Hi. That sounded so that sounded so innocent. Yeah. What's, up that, what's up with that necklace? Um, it's an eye. Duh. Does it represent something? Is it like a? Are you spiritual? Is it, yeah, it's like, it like the like eye of Horus, those, but it has uh, a little twist because it has a little drop. So it's crying. It's a crying. Yeah, it's a cry, it's a crying eye. So it's a little sad, sad version. Did you buy it or was it a gift? It was a gift. My mom used to send me lots of jewelry when I was in Flow Rider. What's? Oh, nice. uh, I was about to be like, what's Flow Rider? Uh, Flow I get it. I get it. You know, a lot Florida. of people don't know that's why his name is Flo Rida. Because he's from Florida? Come on, stop it. I swear to God, bro. I swear to God. <laughs> I've told many people, like, hey, you know, I was all excited when I first learned because I was that idiot. And I was like, you know, it's because he's from Florida, right? Flo Rida. Jeez, that's like saying Mr. 305. Where New Jersey twerk is from. I've never I didn't know it was called New Jersey, New Jersey twerk. twerk. 
He's making shit up. Yeah, definitely, bro. Like, that's, that's a problem. <laughs> people, that think, people that are from New Jersey think they're way cooler than they are. Nobody gives hey, a fuck listen, about New Jersey, dude. Everybody gives a fuck about New Jersey. Nobody Do you Jersey. not realize the that? The dirty like, Jersey. Listen, Jersey. hey, shout out to Ed Brady, by the way. Cranston and his new spot uh, in Warwick. Chicken and biscuits, whatever that place Ooh. is called. But um, like anyway, chicken. they got I like biscuits. Uh, a New Jersey staple in that restaurant. It's called Taylor Ham, a.k.a. Pork Roll. Is it called the Jersey Turnpike? The Jersey Turnpike. That's something I know from New Jersey. <laughs> the Sopranos, Jersey, Jersey Bon Jovi, Shore, Bruce Shore. Springsteen, Frank Sinatra. Fantastic, bro. People still Come don't give a fuck about New Jersey. Everybody smell gives a fuck about New Jersey. State. I feel like people that care about New Jersey are people that are from New Jersey. Well, yeah, not, like Everybody course. else just assumes like, oh, why are you just not from New York where it's cooler? Oh. No, 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 no. Absolutely not. Well. I guess it's better than Alabama. Oh, right definitely. Hundred percent, hundred percent better than segment, Alabama. Hundred percent. What else is going on in Alabama right now? Well, let me tell you what's going on in Alabama. <laughs> They're just straight stomping on. Alabama, Hold my right? sister. Like, yeah, bitches, you don't matter. Hey, you know what? I don't necessarily. I you know them. what? There's a there's a whole culture difference, obviously, in Alabama and all the southern states and just around the country. No matter where you go, California, <laughs> it's it's a different culture. So I don't necessarily blame them for wanting to live within their culture rules and realm they're fucking southern hicks and they fuck each other's sisters and brothers and shit whatever hey yeah, that's they fuck what you guys cousin do and they sing country music just like up here people do drink fucking dough. coffee milk they, they fuck their sisters and they eat squirrels yeah they eat squirrels they and call shit. fucking black people negroes still and like that's just what it is oh, i don't necessarily blame them for being that way sort of like i don't blame the filipinos for fuck the f- why did i accent that oh <laughs> weird I don't know. <laughs> the Filipinos. I don't. I don't blame the. I don't blame Philip's penis for eating dogs. You know, that's just what oh, they do. No. Yeah, yeah, I mean, I, I don't. I agree with. I you don't like that. that. You talking about like the dog when they do like the dog thing and they like corral all the dogs and they like cook them and eat them and shit. It's just food, no different. I than didn't know it was that specific, but I don't okay. know. There was like the. I don't She's know. like, I went to one once. She's like, I tried oh, yeah, it. Yeah, right. Nah, I'd be, the whole, I'd be hoarding said, all the puppies, taking them all home. You ever eat a dog? No, absolutely not. Hot dog. Did a dog ever eat you? Like corn dogs, too. <laughs> the okay. dog ever eat you? She's like, like, like nah, I'm allergic like, to peanut butter. <laughs> hey, I got bit by a fucking dog. Yeah, I was there, dude. I was there. I was <laughs> that there. shit hurt. I'll tell you what. So I bet. We're fucking, we're playing at, we're playing was it, it was probably game. a chihuahua and he's just a nah, bitch. No, it was actually, it was, <laughs> just, it was like a fucking it a mastiff. It was a pit bull, right? That no. Dog that bit you. no. It was like a schnauzer or something. Uh, it was big enough. <laughs> Put it this way. This is how you know that Jay busts a lot of balls because we're, we're at a poker game, which is in the basement, and per usual, Jay gets stacked. He lost all his money. He had to leave. Eat a dick. <laughs> so, so he fucking, he leaves, and then a few seconds later, we're in the basement, and we all, we hear some commotion going on, and then we hear, like, a woman upstairs crazy, going crazy. And it was me. <laughs> yeah. We hear a woman screaming, and it was Jay. <laughs> So they just screamed out. His skirt blew up. Yeah. He's having, a, having a tantrum. The like, hey, my vagina about, started blossoming on my thigh. <laughs> there's like nine of us down there. They screamed down the basement. Oh, somebody screamed to the basement. The dog just bit Jay. And the entire table looks at each other and we just give a chuckle like, <laughs> nice. <laughs> who's the action on? <laughs> yeah, like, whose turn is it? What? It was so strange because... I saw money get exchanged. Like, people bet that you were going to get bit as you left. He's Bro. like, hey, pay up, pay up. Uh... I don't want to mention like really names, but the wife of the house, she was like, Jay, are you okay? And I'm like limping down the <laughs> down her sidewalk. Pussy. Yeah, I'm fine. Don't worry pussy. about it. <laughs> pussy. He's a pussy. Bro, that shit fucking I'm just <laughs> You should have seen the bite though the same dog gave to her, like not too not much longer after it bit me. I mean it fucking like really sunk teeth and like maybe they're giving it shitty food and it's just mad or maybe fucking like we just need to accept the fact that like like animals don't really need to be pets all the time you know some animals yeah some don't but maybe they just what if they imagine eating the same thing every fucking day and you don't like the food I'd be biting people too be like give me better food tell it to my girl yeah but (laughs) dogs don't give a fuck they lick their own nuts (laughs) you know what I'm saying just kidding Gosh, I'm See, I, look at me. Obviously, I'm not bored with what we eat. Give me I some mean, better food. Dogs don't get tired of licking their own nuts, and it's the same nuts it's they always lick. They eat the same yeah, kibble, though, if they're like, yo, fuck if this you shit. Lick your own nuts, bro. Susan, I'm about to bite your ass. Well, that's true. We already mentioned that before. Yeah. Imagine that dude being able to just, aside from just like jerking off, being able to pleasure yourself. Is it gay if you suck your own dick? Well, that escalated quickly. Weren't we just talking yeah, about that, dogs? That escalated very I'm just quickly. Saying, is it gay if you suck your own dick? Is it gay? Um, yes. Don't. Yes. Gay. Let me think Wicked about that. Wicked gay. Fucking gay. It's like it gay feels so good, but then you see a reflection of yourself. Well, I don't know. Fucking you can gay. jerk yourself off. Is that gay? 
Well, it's less gay. You're not negative. sucking your own fucking dick. But you're grabbing it. Wait, touching. question. I don't know. Though. You're putting a dick in your mouth. That's pretty. Well, but if you're putting your own dick in your mouth, are you spitting it out or are you swallowing it? Ooh. What the fuck? I don't know. I'm going to snowball that's myself. Um... <laughs> <laughs> We're going to do it next to each other and then just touch tongues. Ew, okay. That's, that's they're, so fucking they're, awesome. They're mad gay. They're mad gay. Oh God, you're, you're fucking yeah, gay, bro. Weird. They're What's gross. A snowball. You said you're going to snowball. I don't know. I just yourself? made that shit up. You don't know what a snowball is? I used to work with this dude, right? And we were young. So we used to call him Snowball. Oh, man. I, I used to snowball, snowball with him. You know when you're, when you're young and you're, like, you talk oh, about Lord. fucking a lot. And we used to talk about like fucking girls or whatever. Hopefully. And I'd be like, yeah, dude, like I came on this chick's tits, dude. It was awesome. Like I just started watching porn. It was cool. He's like, oh, you know what I do? And I'll never forget it. He goes, yeah. It was I, cool. I pull out and I come on her back and I sign my name in it. What the fuck? <laughs> Why? I thought it was the coolest shit ever. His name is Geo. And he was just like, oh, yeah, I just write Geo on it. Oh, he's... He's from your town too. I don't know. Let's I'm not talk. from North Provo. And I'm from I'm from NK. P.S. NK? It's Biddy. Not well. You could say Brittany. Brittany sounds better. It's Biddy, bitch. It actually it is. It's Biddy, bitch, or it's Brittany, bitch. <laughs> <laughs> I'll tell you. What do you it's, think about this whole Alabama thing? Give us a give us oh, a female man. perspective. And you know what? Most females, <sighs> they obviously they. They are on the stance of, hey, it's my fucking body. It's my choice. Fuck you. <laughs> eat a dick. It's like most females want to control I their own body. What do you think? I just feel like it takes two to fucking tango. If you're going to be raw dog and a girl, she gets knocked up and pregnant because you're being a fool. At that point, it's Who's on her. Both parties. Okay, okay. Both parties are so being fools. Clear. So at that point, if she's knocked up, it's on her to make the decision because now she's just the one pregnant. You guys both had opportunities to make better decisions before. Neither party did. So then so I feel like, like equal. Now we're back to square one. Yeah, it was like it started off equal and then it goes start and stack. Yeah. Well, started well, off, started off. Let me off ask equal. you this. What about the scenario where let's say a guy and a girl they fuck, they don't protect themselves. She gets pregnant. He wants to have the child. She doesn't. She has all the say to fucking kill his kid. Yeah. Okay. All right. Next <laughs> yeah, subject. Pretty much. Yeah. <laughs> I like, well, no, we, we can't move on because you feel strongly about this, so don't cower. Yeah, because, because I, I don't, I very rarely, yeah, well, no, I very cower. rarely, I, cower? I very rarely see there, so <laughs> out of, out of, out of a hundred cases, there's probably going to be two that are of a guy saying, oh, I want to have a kid with this random bitch. I think that's very true. Hold on. Where that's what I'm saying. That, so, where are you getting that number from? Out of my ass. Yeah, like, so that, let's, but let's I'm just saying, so just if, saying, you know, like, well, if you think, our so, opinion, so as the majority. That, that okay, so, weird. but if you think, okay, so out of every circumstance that you've known or any person that you've known or any so girl you've known, that. if any person that you've known, any man around you that you know, if they ever knocked up a random person, what is the first thing out of their mouth going to be? I don't want it, probably. I don't know. So is that number really that that far off? I knocked up one girl. Yeah, but I'm talking not just about you. I'm talking about anybody that you know. Talk about anybody that you know. In, in yeah, a right. giant scheme of of numbers, I would say that that's the majority. However, that is definitely doesn't the, the doesn't doesn't the principle though come into play? Like meaning, look, yeah, like the, you said, it does take two to tango. Meaning, half the child is of the male, half the yeah. child's of the female. Well, I guess Why if the father does, yeah, I guess if the father does want to be present, then that would probably be a case where they would have to sit down and talk I would be as pretty adults. Pissed and, off if a chick decided to kill my kid without my yeah. consent. Yeah, that would be. Yeah, I couldn't imagine that. That would ideal. that would definitely suck. So I, I mean, I just I feel like those cases don't normally happen very often. So they're probably just brushed under the rug. But for sure, that they should probably be more brought into light because they also should have an opinion too. Because it is part theirs, half and half. You know, so. But, they, but you would hope that the person they, that you're having do. sex with is like a commonly decent person that you kind of relevantly know. <laughs> so like, I, you know, it's like most of the time. Hear me out, hear me out. What you're saying though, like you would hope that they ha- they do. Like every man has the you know has the legal right to talk to the girl and say, hey, I don't think we should. A hundred percent. But a lot so of men, a lot of men are really just trying to get their dick wet and move on though. That's unfair to say. I, uh, not really. I think, I think it's, it's pretty accurate. <laughs> that is I very know, accurate. It seems like today, what is he, even uh, today, like, what is especially fairy today, land over it seems here. like it's a lot more, um, I, I feel like the idea of women being like sexually um, promiscuous is being more and more Men are just mad because women are doing like, it too. Sold to us, you know, that like, Oh, I agree with you. Like, it's almost like an empowerment there. Yeah, too. You know, like every, there's so many things that I watch, whether it's on Netflix or Hulu or whatever, YouTube videos. There's like this movement. Men of, are losing the power. There's a no, no, that will never happen. Definitely, it just can't happen. You know, we're, physically, it, that's another conversation. But it seems <laughs> like the the societal norms of 
you know, like slut shaming and shit like that is I think that's wrong. I don't think you should just, you know, talk shit about people for having sex with random people if they want to do what they want to do. Or you could just be like me but and not be a like slut. It's, well, the problem is it seems <laughs> like it's almost being force fed to us that, hey, women, you know, can should be, be doing this, you know, not just they can, like they should. And we should cheer them on for going out and sleeping hey, with random dudes. I'm all about women and them doing their thing, but I'm not going to cheer a woman on to go and fuck every dude that she feels like she should because I feel like that's just careless and not very ladylike. See, I guess that's an antiquated train of thought to a lot of females, and I appreciate your sentiment. I really do because late the word "lady" and "ladylike" that's just not even used unless it's in conversation like this and we're debating about something. Yeah, you're a lady. Thanks. Yeah, you know, I'm definitely um, a lady. not very ladylike. But I, 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 I agree with Josh too that. It seems trendy, almost yeah, trendy. fashionable and faddish to yeah. be a closet fucking whore or a slut or or just, you know, whatever. Or just to have, no, it's like they just, now it's instead like of instead of men just having no morals and instead of men just wanting to have sex with every woman that they see and all that stuff, now girls are doing it too. And it's different because now when everyone's doing it, it just creates a just giant mess. So, Which is where we are. Hold on, hold on. What do you mean, giant mess? So, like, before, like, back in the older days, like, my grandparents, actually, take a moment to say that I love them. My grandparents. They both, they, no, they both passed away recently, so. But this I is part of the sentiment, though. So they were married for 69 years, which never happens nowadays. Imagine being married to the same person for 69 years. I don't know. Well, but, I was close. I was married for six months. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I can't with him. So, <laughs> um, so back months. then, like back then, like you weren't with multiple people. You literally, you had your commitments to people, and you you fulfilled your, you know, faithfulness and loyalty, and and were genuine, and you had you just made it work. And nowadays, marriage is more like being an, a- an actual relationship because people break up or get married real quick, and then now people are on their third marriage when Joy. before marriage was like a more coveted thing and. Now it's just turned into kind of more of a... It's a legality. Yeah, but everything's kind of just turned into like a less real... Like, relationships aren't that serious. And now women are out having sex with multiple dudes at the same time like men were doing for a while. And now it's just taking a turn for the worse. Now everyone's out having sex with everybody. Penises are all over the road, fucking... Penises are all over the road. (laughs) Vaginas vaginas are in the way. falling out of the sky. There's vaginas up in the air. Like, everyone's just like, let's do do this. Do you think some of that might be because... um, With with the sharing of information and kind of... There's part of the uh, internet movement. um, Like... Internet age. A part of that could be that... Because it's being, like, I feel like women have, women's rights and what's expected of a woman and um, the whole, uh, what's the word? I say I don't like that. There should be nothing expected of a woman. Like, if I choose to make you dinner, you're going to eat it, but first of all. Let me finish, let me finish. (laughs) Um, What's expected of a woman, maybe not the best word, but the perspective, the perspective of what a woman should do is changing. And I feel like back in the old days that you're talking about, Mm. It was their a roles. lot more frowned upon for a woman to leave a marriage. You know what I mean? Like it was almost like there was an expectation that even if they were unhappy, you was frowned upon for on, anyone. They quote too. unquote should stick it out. You yeah. Know? So I feel like it could be nowadays because you know women are, or even men, you know, but I I think it's probably women more often than men that are you know feeling a bit liberated and saying like, hey, if I truly am unhappy, I, I don't have to stay in this marriage anymore. You know. Facts. So I don't know if. if um, a higher divorce rate is necessarily a bad thing for the the overall. Well, because like, before it'd be like health and, and health of people. I feel like before women would be shamed if they left their marriage, even that's though men were still sleeping around. That that's, that's so, exactly my point. So I don't know if yeah, that's a good then, thing that more marriages lasted from back in well, the day. Well, it was good for I'm women. I'm not talking about your your grandparents specifically. No. But there's probably a lot of married couples out there that are, you know been together for 50 years. But if they were in today's times, would have fucking gotten divorced because like the dude treated it's the them norm like shit. Now. Well, it's a norm now. We've just created a norm. we've created a norm now it's that's more, completely it's more different. Accepted, but I think it should be accepted. I don't oh, think so. A should, divorce. Yeah, so, I don't think. Well, that, but abortion marriage, can, shouldn't be accepted, divorce, even though marriage and divorce are. It's a whole other conversation. We can get to that. But I, I don't feel that you should be obliged to stay with somebody if you're unhappy. 
I well, completely course. agree. Yeah. <laughs> I don't think anybody would disagree with that. People weren't happier. You know, like your grandparents I think in that the, time frame, it's not like they were happier. Yeah, It no. was just a lot less frowned upon to well, get, you know. I think there's a fine line when it comes to marriage and relationships. <laughs> I, I people think the ma- older people stuck it out. Because they... they to, you, you know, just, just for longevity purposes and, and, and not to... You know, today everybody's so quick to just give up on not just yeah, marriage, but on exactly. everything. That's what that's what on was, everything. That's what I was kind of. As soon as somebody feels on, uncomfortable, yep. they're like, "Ah, fuck this." Or they hit a roadblock. It's like, "Oh, well, I'm out." Yeah. Instead of saying like, "Oh, well, how can I be I there for the person?" That are married that have tried to work through, but I feel like maybe now they're realizing that they're beating a dead horse. So you can also they used to be. You can also go on an app and swipe right to twenty freaking dudes, and they probably all swiped right because they don't even probably look. So it's like how about? easy of it how easy like is it for whatever. nowadays to like My turn the page and say, Oh, I can find something better, but the grass is always green on the other side. But you're literally people are using Facebook and Tinder not Tinder, yeah, Tinder. Yeah, Tinder or whatever. Other it is. Plenty of thing, fish. Plenty of fish. Uh bum, Are you bit, single? Bumble. Yeah. You know what they are. Quit playing. No, I don't even I won't even, I don't even I don't even fucks with those. Try to find me on them. I ain't there. I just saw fucking Tinder and Bumblebee notifications go off on your phone. Wanna look That's at my a notifications? Dick pic on the screen right now. You know what this is? Clash Royale and my father. Oh my bad. It looked like Bumble. Yeah, his bad. And Yelp. His bad. It looked like Tinder. I'm just it looked like Tinder. Loose up. <laughs> oh. No, you so, wanna you wait, hold on. Out of all ready here, look. What else we got? You can look. I got no. Well, let me ask you. What, what is? Why won't you go on Tinder? Why not? Go, I got Pokemon oh, Go. Wow. <laughs> why not? Um, uh, go on. Yeah. I, I just refuse. Yeah. So I don't. I don't think there's anything wrong. There's with a that, whole. Like, there's a whole like falsity. Uh, falsity. Falsity. It's fallacy. You, you, fallacy. No, you can make words up on this. It's fine. There's a yeah. I do it all the time. Falsity, shit. whatever. So there's like a whole like false shit that goes along with all that like dating websites. Like people can literally go on there and act like they who are who they are. And I just refuse oh, to go and meet fish people. Absolutely not. I don't have time for that. Not you personally, but that's yeah, but who has time for that? Like people I have time like for that. Who wants like, to do I that? Right. Like, who, who sits Facebook. down and says, "I want to make a fake account and I just want to be an asshole"? Like, oh, that's what catfishing is. I thought it was like fat people <laughs> like making themselves look thin on, in a selfie. Like, oh shit, you're good looking. Then you meet them in there. Like, I have a picture. Well, that's that a kind of. I think that's that. a kind of type of. But I mean, ca- catfishing in and of itself is there's actually multiples. have a whole different picture, for yeah. and you're, that's not you at all. Yeah, there's multiple and, like oh, catfishes. Much, like, yeah, obviously yeah, they make like gonna, it takes a lot of effort. Yeah, like you know, whole like, like <laughs> fake like. So it's like me making a page like with Jamal six nine athletic build rich, and I, using I show like, up and I'm like, hey, I would just show a picture of like my fat fucking self. And be like, <laughs> do you do you like me? Because if you if you do, then we'll hang out if you don't. <laughs> You can probably Go fuck yourself. Oh you my god! Save all the time and just like drink bleach, dude. Nobody True. Say, drink bleach. That. Oh my lord. Where do we? we go from abortion? Or we could just go to the. Or we could just all go to the bar and have drinks and meet people around us, which is like the best thing to do. Face to face. Face to face conversation. I, I agree with face. People don't have it. But it's like a numbers game too. Like look at it like this way: if you're buying a car, don't you want to give yourself the opportunity to get the perfect car for you by? Seeing as many, as you just compared a men. woman to a car. Uh, not just women, men. Like you're ultimately you're choosing somebody. Cars. You know what I mean? So I didn't say use. I said a car. So you're saying like a car. shopping on the catalog versus no, seeing in like real Tinder, life. You're, you're saying it's too easy now to swipe and like. It's like shopping through a catalog back in the day. You know the auto trader catalog. Yeah, you have to flip right. through for cars. <laughs> so you're saying like well, that would be like. What's necessarily wrong with it? What's yeah? That's because what why would I why would I want to shop through the catalog when I can go and walk through a lot of cars and look at them myself and drive them? You can see more. Potentially, maybe not drive because that's. Exact same information that you can. Wow, you're pretty uh, it's just more fast moving. <laughs> you can drive it. Yeah, like, and I can drive it. Oh, I just mean like take it for a. I can take it for a ride. Spin. <laughs> like it's credit card. No. <laughs> wow. We just like went to like eighty different kinds of subjects in about five minutes. <laughs> that was rough. Yeah, it was. <laughs> Hey, so going back to Alabama. Cheers though, to really, that. Really, really fast. Yeah, right. I read really a fast. funny meme that said. Wait, can we Alab- cheers? <laughs> yeah, we can. Yeah, absolutely. Can cheers. Cheers. Going back to Alabama, I, like, I just want to touch on this really fast again. I want to so up. you know, fuck uh, abortion and all that other shit. Whatever. Blah blah blah. What do you need? Jay oh yeah, here. Alabama actually censored uh, uh, an episode of Arthur the Aardvark. Do you guys know who that is? The cartoon Ar- Arthur the Aardvark. Fucking the meme dude with the meme with the. Face. <laughs> Right? Or the one with D.W. sitting there and he's zipping himself up? Because they had like a same-sex couple or a homosexual 
cartoon character on there. Looking that up, George? It's like... No, it's true. I saw it today. Can yeah. You I want to see it. some facts on the phone. <laughs> Your phone, bro. bro. Wait, what, what is it? I'll, I'll do it. What is it? What is it? No, I heard about it today. No, no, let him do it. Yeah. Oh. You stay engaged with Stay engaged. Okay. So stay engaged. the same sex marriage in the... Uh, and a state can do that? Wait, say that again? It was a cartoon, an well, Arthur man. cartoon, and in Alabama they banned the cartoon that episode because it has same-sex marriage in the episode. There's two guy cartoon, two like male no. cartoon. See, I, you know, I can argue both sides. No, yeah. no, no, no. I no. understand. You cannot, yeah. sir. You can argue I, one I side rationally. No, I can fucking do some weird shit with No, that. I can, well, it's I can like, argue. It's like almost like the Amish. Like, the Amish live in their own area. They have their own laws. Like, it's yeah. almost like... Well, he, I think or San Francisco. Yeah, what he's or, trying to refer right, so, to is he's trying to say that Alabama is its own like little weird every, fucked every up state, state. state. No, every state. So is. like, if they want to be all weird every and fucked up, is. let them be. Let them be all weird and fucked up by themselves. Is kind of thing that is that what you're kind of right, trying to yeah, get at? Yeah, absolutely. So it's like he's not trying to argue for their primitive way Up of thinking, here in, but, in the blue states, so obviously we don't. That's foreign to us. Like, what the fuck? It's kind of really. Hey, same thing with Florida. Florida. I lived in Florida for six years. It was wild. Yeah, awesome. very conservative. Wild. Conservative, conservative, but like most, whoop, you see people driving around with alligators duct tape in their passenger seat. Some of them got shotguns. Other people are, flags. Yeah, Confederate flags. Some people are doing burnouts on the fucking thing, looting places. There's yeah, but that's shit yeah, going that's on anywhere. Different about. than shaming somebody for their. Well, remember, it's not shaming. It, it is shaming. Dude. No, not in their community. It's not. I, I mean, it, they just don't realize it what the shaming. other part of the. No, no, not yeah. in their community. You're, you're hiding a lifestyle from kids because you think there's something wrong with that lifestyle. What's the difference between hiding that and, let's say, pedophilia? Because that's real life, too. I mean, I can give you an easy black and white answer. One is illegal, one's not. Okay, any other kind of sexual <laughs> innuendo that's not illegal. Like what? Uh, let's say furries. You dress up as animals and you're. You want that oh on my God. Arthur? Well, they're all in. No, you know what I'm saying. So anybody that has kids on Arthur is a furry, so they're not really high. No, 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 you know what I'm saying. In principle, it's the same thing, meaning like there's there's oh, certain I mean, aspects of not, life. Though. It's not, because... There's certain not, aspects of life that you want to protect your you're kids from. about a, a specifically sexual relationship where furries, you know, if you I, remove... Hold on, hold on. Let, let me get this out. Yeah, if you is. remove sex completely from Arthur, they're just right. animals talking to each other. And? Right? So when you have... Uh, when, when you say they're removing a same-sex couple... They're not talking about sex at all on the show. So well, wait, hold on. It doesn't. You just said same sex couple. That's, that's talking yeah. about sex. No, it's not. I'm it, talking what? about a man and a man, the same sex. That's They're the not talking about soul. sexual relationships. What do you think? What? It's giving a picture that's not a normal for the people that want, that for the audience that. So, th- I think this is like also what Jay's trying to say, which I totally understand. He could argue what. It's not about what we believe personally is, right or, is or right or wrong. This is just about the facts. If somebody chooses to raise their children upon certain beliefs, with certain things there, with certain things not there. What's happening? What's up? <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's yeah. a cooler. Yeah, it is a cooler. That's how man Dave coming through, getting his bar situation straight. Um, so go ahead, Brittany. What were right. you saying? So you were saying you hate gays? Uh, no, absolutely not. So you hate gays? <laughs> fucking this guy over here. Fucking, don't put words in my mouth, you fucking turd. What I'm saying is that if a family out in the sticks wants to raise their children off of certain beliefs that they believe in, who are we to tell them they're wrong? Just like, who are they to tell us we're wrong if we for think that... We yeah, for li- for thinking that same-sex marriage is okay, for believing in whatever and supporting abortion, not supporting abortion, all that stuff. But if somebody chooses to wake up and they say, okay, I live in this community and it's literally in the sticks age squirrel and shit, they say, I don't want my child to be watching a, a same-sex couple on the TV, but that's normal for them. Who are we to sit there and tell them that they're wrong for that if they want to raise their child upon their own beliefs? I get, I get where you're going with that. I mean, I try to look, I try to flip the situation. If Well, there's if totally, there, I believe, I understand your side. It's like Am total, good? yeah, go ahead, yeah. So in Rhode Island, if a show, say a very popular show, just stopped airing any episode that promoted heterosexual or different, like a man and woman marriage, like you wouldn't see an issue with that? That would never happen because we live in Rhode Island and that's the most dem state ever. So everyone's like... Would it be okay? Like, would you think there's an issue It would never happen because everyone wants to hug each other and throw snowballs and snowflakes and... Well, that's comparing apples and oranges. Yeah, like... Why is it comparing apples and oranges? Because... Be, I'm just asking. Well, I don't understand why. Straight. You hold on. Straight. You think there would be an issue with that? That's absolutely. all I'm asking. 
What? Hold on, but I'm, I'm, I'm going to answer you. You're not answering, though. Because I'm asking a yes or no question. You keep talking. You're asking questions. You keep talking. I'm asking a yes or no question. You're trying to deflect and go somewhere else. Because it's not a yes or no answer. You're it's 100%. No, it's not. You have a problem with Listen. It's 100% a yes or no answer. I spy being, I'm gonna, I'm gonna someone's, someone's being this. triggered. You're comparing triggered. apples and triggered. oranges. You can't compare apples and oranges and ask somebody to answer a yes or no question. Because it's not a yes or no Dude, question. A yes or no question is Hes- Homosexuality is not the same as heterosexuality. No matter how much you okay. want to fucking say it is. So let me, I'll give you all that. Maybe I'll say you're right. So then we're saying it's, uh, telling well, me to answer you. yes or no is not. Just answer it. Why do you <laughs> it's, it's not. Triggered. It can if, uh, I'm not, who's triggered? He's not triggered. <laughs> I guess I he's not triggered. triggered. No, no, no. I, I'm saying you, you Bro, can't ask. You're deflecting right now. I'm asking you. I'm explaining. No, he's so trying to let you know. Separate. Let's say they're Wait, separate, right? He's You're, trying let's to say that heterosexuality, let me <laughs> and heterosexuality are different. Yeah. Would you have an issue if a show banned heterosexual relationships? Uh, they, why would they do that? It doesn't matter so why they would do it. I don't because that's how in that would my never brain, happen. In my brain, I'm saying why would they do that about homosexual would, relationships? Well, so I'm just asking you if you. Oh, I don't know because no, homosexuality became a more of a norm way later than heterosexuality was already like a norm. No, I wouldn't. I, I wouldn't. I wouldn't. So you wouldn't so, have a problem with it. All right, that's no. all I wanted to know. I know, but I'm explaining past that. Why would anyone... The, the viewers might. Well, they don't you know even what I'm know. Why Trust would me. anyone even ban... The viewers just want to know whether or not you'd have a problem that's with That's a pretty extreme example. Yeah, that's yeah, that's so, that's so, so crazy. That is the craziest way of trying to say, like, would you be okay if they banned heterosexual... Like... It's I'm sorry, but I would... I would. I don't think that... It's not the same exact. That's what I'm saying. You're comparing apples and oranges. different about it? Biology. That's different. Oh, okay. oh, here we go. We're gonna get in a new combo. We're gonna well, get yeah, the biology combo. Guys. Yeah, I mean, it, it, that's a whole new let, combo. Let's 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 call it what it is. Let's not you know sugarcoat the conversation. L- listen, I, I'm not saying what's right and what's wrong. I don't even give a fuck. Do whatever you want. Whatever. Blah, Me blah, too. Blah. I'm like. But let's not. Hmm. Let's let's not say that it's all the same. Listen, if it's somebody, not all the same. If somebody likes to fuck kids, that's not the same as somebody. Um, please, if, if somebody, somebody likes to fuck kids, come come see me. I'll I'll cut you I'll fucking you kids. <laughs> what? No, if somebody wants to fuck kids, you know, and, like, like pedophilia bullshit, like time come at me, bro. If you like to fuck kids. Yeah. No, I, I don't I put words, words in my mouth. I mean, like I fucking if somebody like ever, I don't have any tolerance for people that hurt children. Children are innocent. They should be left out of everything. Absolutely. Absolutely. But I, I guess children are so, Not all of them. Some of them are a little My shit, point is, so. is that whatever you like to fuck... They still don't deserve fuck. to be fucked. I'm not saying they should fuck them. Whatever you um, like to no, fuck... No, they deserve to have their innocence. Hold on, for a second. Oh, yeah, go ahead with your <laughs> what, what, fucking, yeah. Whatever you like to fuck, that's up to you. Oh my I Lord. don't give a flying shit. If you like to fuck cars, <laughs> that, they call that mechanophilia. If you like to fuck are you kids, serious? that's called pedophilia. Well, if you like to fuck corpses... Corpses, that's Arachnoph- necrophilia. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. So, I mean, like, what whatever you like, you to, like fuck to fuck, fuck that's totally Arachnophilia. different. Arachnophilia? It's all, it's all not the same here. as fucking, you know, man and woman. Yeah, you are naturally designed to fuck. Right. I, I can understand why. So, that's you, what I'm saying. You're I understand stories. why you feel that way. And, and I get it. I was just asking a simple question if you would have a problem if it was the other way around. That's all. Why would, I'm not nobody- saying they're the same. It doesn't, I don't matter. Think anyone, it doesn't matter why. I, I don't think anyone would care because that would never happen because that would just never happen. Maybe if you lived somewhere else, California might be doing that shit soon. I would. I mean, California it, has people gonna, living in tents on the streets, shitting in the fucking roads. Like we do, we have that here. Too. Yeah, we have that here too. Of course, because we're a sex city, and I totally disagree with it. And I totally disagree with what California is doing. I think everyone's all those fucking what do you people. Mean a sanctuary city. What's a sanctuary? A sanctuary city where they fucking let illegals be safe here, quote mm. unquote. Illegals. How do you yeah. feel about illegals and all that whole thing? I mean, obviously you don't uh, you don't agree with it. Did you but not sense the hostility no. towards illegals there? Well, it's not hostility. She just might be it might be just you know indifferent oh, she about. She capped it off with an oh, that's pretty hostile. <laughs> I just don't I just don't understand like, why. This, this, I just don't understand why. My grandparents. Are, I'm sorry, but anybody that lives here is has done, gone through like my my grandparents. Unless you're literally a Native American, you're you're an immigrant. Even Native so, Americans didn't weren't the original people. Here. Yeah, but Native Americans are probably the oldest of living people that have been here. So I would say they would probably be the Native people. So they can say, okay, I'm a Native American, blah, blah, And what we did to them was wrong by stealing their land. However, back then, it was what it was. You know, you pillage, you plunder. It was what it was. Discover in the map. This, we still that, do it other. today. We did it to Iraq. Yeah, well, yeah. for oil. But anyways, so uh, I just, my... My great grandparents, they came over during the Armenian Genocide. They came over through Ellis through Island. Armenian. Yep, yeah. Armenian. Um, and they did the legal way. And I just don't understand why. I get it. Like, it pulls your heartstrings when you know people that shouldn't be here that have overstayed their visas or came illegally. But at the same time, all it does is hurt our society's hardworking people 
by taking away our taxpayer money. And then I get it. Everyone wants to say, oh, yeah, hi, blah, 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 my, my neighbor or blah, blah, blah that I work with. You're a great person, but you're not here fucking legally, so get the fuck out. That's mm-hmm. what I got to say about that. And I don't necessarily disagree with that because, listen, me being a citizen, you being a citizen, you being a citizen, anybody who's a citizen, if you... George, we don't know about you. Well, George, we don't know about you. We'd like to see your green card. If anybody commits a crime as a citizen, you go to jail. I mean, that's just what it is. Why isn't there repercussions for people that don't live here that are committing a crime, which is being illegal in... No, don't they get don't well, they get arrested don't, and then released because you don't go to jail for every crime you commit. Let's make that clear. Well, I'm saying but there it, has to be a, a they should a be extradited if somebody commits a crime. They should be extradited and they're not. I don't understand. You know what? All in all, and I always say this: I don't understand why somebody would sneak through the window when the doors open. We have a program in place. You can you can come they say to America. That, they, say the wait, they say the wait line's too long for them. Oh, okay, well then fucking wait longer. Yeah. Well, fuck you. Go yeah. fucking it's fuck tough, your fuck. I think that's really easy to say if you're not in whatever situation. Oh, if it's like my be, parents don't break the law. I don't know. Or my great grandparents didn't break the law. I feel like we just got to find a better way to speak and then <laughs> let's speak. But if uh, you know, it's it's easy to say if you're not in whatever situation that they're in that's driving them to flee to this country. You know, and, and who knows what that be? It could be just because they want to. But that's irrelevant. It could be, it's kind of it's not irrelevant. I don't it think is. it's relevant. It's not irrelevant, or else we wouldn't be having this conversation. Well, I'm saying it's um, irrelevant in the sense. Canada's it, open. Canada was open. Europe's open. They wanted to come to America. Why do you think they want to come what to America? What are they going from Mexico to Canada? How are they going to get there? The fucking swim. Yeah. Here's a shit. <laughs> Tubes. What? You know, <laughs> geography, bro? What are they going to go? Swim around the Mississippi America. River? You don't think. Just go the whole way. East of the river. So, so Canada, Canada wants to take them, but. Canada wants to take them, but actually, parts of Mexico. Um, or what was it Brazil? I don't remember. I've, I've I've read so many articles that like everything mumbles together. But there was multiple areas that wanted to take illegals that were coming from Mexico. Blah blah blah. blah. The whole caravan thing, and they didn't want to. They just wanted to come to America. Why the fuck not? We get fucking. We give everyone free everything. Yeah, I'm not against taking in immigrants. Like, hey, that's what. This Me neither. I'm an yeah. immigrant, technically. I'm I'm you all for here. taking no them like an immigrant legally, I mean, like though. I'm an you're, immigrant. Oh, you're a descendant of yeah. Immigrants. So like yeah, I mean most of us are and. I don't know. Well, all of us are. That's what I'm saying. Exactly. Oh, yeah, that's what I said in the first. That was the first thing I said. Yeah. I, so we're all descendants. A lot of times we lose sight of that because it was. It's a very, very different process now than it used to be. I mean, of you're course. Irish. You know, there when the Filipino, potato okay. famine. Um, but you're, Potatoes. Potato. Hey, you're more Irish. Potatoes. No, so like when Irish, when the the um, influx of Irish immigrants were coming to the United States, it was like get off the boat, sign this paper. This makes you a citizen. Here you go. You know of course, I mean? like, but just because the procedures have changed does not mean that the legal process shouldn't happen. Maybe. I, I don't disagree with you. Because there should be some steps our, to become we're, we're a at our We're at our capacity of... of we're like, not at capacity of what? Capacity of what? You know how much land is here? We're not even close to capacity. Oh, okay. I'm, I'm so, telling so, you, so, that's, so, that's, so, that's not my opinion. Uh, social, security, social security that we, I pay into every year, When I, by the time I'm ready for social security, it's not even going to be there anymore. God bless it. That has nothing to do with our capacity. Though. It does, because all I, of our taxpayer so. money is going to people that don't legally live here. All of our tax money? No, Can but you repeat so, so that sentence? All, all of our tax money. A lot, a lot, a lot of our tax money is going. It's so so if somebody goes to the hospital and they have gunshot wounds, they hey, have a, this, that, and the, the other. The U.S. budget, whatever, however you measure all the tax money, goes to illegals. How see much, how much tax? Well, here's the thing. If one if one dollar goes to illegals, that's wrong. But so, I, but I they, they are not, not to make them how about, legal. How about, but the, how about the jail it, system? Three. Yeah, but that's a totally separate issue. Oh, what are you talking about? That's our taxpayer money that runs jails. I mean, they get three hot meals, well, change of clothes. I agree with you. I, I don't. I think right. the prison system is fucked up in itself. But there are private privis, uh, prison, prison systems which too, is a, which is a really fucked up situation. That yes. should not be a thing at all. But I guess my my thoughts on um, like immigration and people being here illegally is it's. It's easy for me to sit here and have these opinions because I was lucky enough to just be born over here. You know, I, I didn't do anything. I don't. I didn't do anything more deserving of a Mexican or a Venezuelan. I didn't earn my. I was just lucky enough to be born here. I could have 
just as easily been born somewhere where in Africa it was, or it was, okay, it was and, war stricken and what or you're I gonna have to flee or I was gonna die or my family was gonna get kidnapped and raped like that's but, life for a lot of people but you can't say what you would have done in that situation either all that you're no, saying is that say oh I'm that. stuck in this situation well, so I should like try that. to okay. justify this situation well, don't mock me because I'm not saying it like so, that not I'm just mocking you well, when you you are you I mean when you look your head up in the air and put your hands like this like I'm not saying it like that what I'm saying is that I can kind of empathize with people that of feel like they don't have a choice. You know, and I feel like... Just, empathy it, shouldn't dictate policy. Exactly. Empathy doesn't can, have anything to, to do with the law. Empathy has not... And, it, because and it's, that's why it's kind you're of a not a politician. Kind of <laughs> well, that's... I'm not a politician for other reasons than that because or there are a, a lot maker. of politicians that feel the same way that I feel. You know, I mean, not the president, but there are a lot of politicians that feel that way. No. And Speaking, it seems like... Go ahead. Well, hold on. It seems like more people agree with what I'm saying than disagree with what I'm saying. You know, when you look at like the popular vote and how many people Democrats, are you're Democrats. saying Democrats. Uh, there are more Democrats than okay. Republicans, but I don't even <laughs> want to get into that. I'm just saying that I can, I get where you're coming from there because it has to be a process. Like, I have walls on my house. So there's I'll let one baby in. If you tell me, like, hey, this baby's going to die if you don't take care of it, I'll take care of it. But, but if you bring 30 babies to my doorstep, I can't take care of 30 babies. I just can't do it. But I can take care of one. And that's always the way that I try to look at but it. But your empathy is the exception to the rule because you're saying you can take care of one baby. Okay, so that baby should be the first one in line. And what you're saying is there's 30 other babies. Okay, so where do, you're, you're literally trying to justify your empathy mm-hmm. over policy. I and am because I there's think a reason why there's policies. Policy. And policy is to keep control and to understand and to properly vet people and to make sure that the people that are already here still have everything for them and all of our vets and everyone everyone in our military get the proper health care everything yeah. they need we so like what you're too. trying to our, do our is you're trying to manipulate the process by empathy and that's not, I'm not trying to manipulate. yeah you're, you're trying to manipulate people's opinions so you from think empathy our immigration process is perfect right it shouldn't be manipulated i don't think that it's perfect but i think that where it starts is for a reason, and I think that they don't just open the floodgates, let everybody in, even though I'm there's enough land, the because they want to properly vet people. They want well, to make sure that are. they're okay. Hey, you're trying to make that. You're trying no. to like make it like it's everyone else's fault that doesn't agree with yours because they're just Americans and they were just naturally born here, and it's their problem because they care about themselves and their other fellow Americans. So like, I am wrong because I want to take care of my fellow Americans before other people. So, like, I'm an asshole because you want to just... I didn't call you an asshole. No, well... I know. She's speaking... Yeah, <laughs> just technically, yeah. You want to, like, let fucking... I don't think anybody's an asshole. Like, let me just clear that up. All right, up. well, I don't mean I, I think whatever. that there's a lot of, like, mis... I, I feel like there are misguided opinions on it because we've... For the most part, if you sum up all... Uh, what are there? 300 million people in the United States? If you ask all of us, we've never experienced... A fraction of what the people that are trying to come here experience. It's a really easy place. Well, my great grandparents did. But no, my great my great grandparents when they came so to what? America, it they, was just like a get off the oh, boat. Oh, is that what they did? Paper. Oh, is that what they did? Probably. No, they easy. went through the biggest genocide, bigger than the Jews. They were chased through the mountains. My great grandmother was in watched. America. No, I'm talking about in Armenia oh, with the immigration America, process. To to yes. But how? So was with the immigration process, process they ran over the mountains and what happened? Went in through Europe, got on a boat, and came to America. She watched her two twin babies. Yeah, they right. to America. What are you talking about? That's the biggest process that I've heard out of anybody just except for just storm in the floodgates. That's the same exact that. thing. They stood the same in the fucking thing. Lines. They went to Ellis Island. They went through all this shit. They got went into New in York day, City. In a day, maybe. Who gives a shit? They well, did no, no, the no, right no, that's way. Very, that's very different than waiting a, a year or more than a year well, okay, listen, to be able to live well, here she, now. She's going to great grandparents. My, both of my parents are immigrants. They both have cars. Okay, they so both have whatever. They stood in the fucking lines. I mean, like that's just what it is. I mean, it is what it is, and at one point, I, I'm not saying that you should not You should just bypass everything, but I think they definitely have You're to almost saying that. You're like, oh, I can't accept 30 years, but I'll take one. So if there's, like, one toddler standing there, and then there's a one baby standing here saying, I'll take the baby because I can take the baby. I didn't say that. I just used the word baby. Like you, can, oh, okay. you can substitute it with stranger, homeless person. Oh, I love that analogy. Toddler, so then it's it like, doesn't matter. It what? just makes sense because... I understand that we can't, like, America can't take every immigrant in with no questions asked. But I think that... Like, we can't based off of empathy. Great. Yeah. I think everybody's yeah. empathetic to people's situations. I don't think that should be even stated. And I don't, like, I, I feel but like... But then we also times, don't want to deport people either, even though they commit crimes and shit. It's like, we can't deport that, them, they've been here. Too many people I know that, that feel like we're... Our, 
we're just more valuable than somebody that was born somewhere else. And that's, well, we that's not we we are in the sense of opportunity. Not, not I don't hold humanity. my life. I don't hold my life higher than another person's life right. in terms of value. However, but we live in a country. I'm not yet. That, I'm not going to sit here and say that we should ruin our economy and and what we have with other Americans because I can't see the. Un, I can't understand why we have policies in place like I can, and I understand it, and I have all the empathy in the world for every immigrant that wants to be here and wants to stay here. However, they, you can't all be here. Yeah, it's, right. it's not right. It's not right. I mean, it's kind of like in a very just small, minuscule. Uh, it's I, tough I, because, like, saying it's not all right to me. That's where I'm like, it could be all right, you know, because nobody just should be able to decide on what part. Of the world, like you're allowed to go, and I'm ta- I know I'm taking this way fucking beyond the the range. Back in the like, day, that was fine. Like, so you talk about like back in the day when people were like traveling freely to like, whoever before they wanted. Christopher Columbus. Yeah. Just, like, you know, for well, the most part, they just like these probably dying on their borders. ships and shit. You know, like at one point, we just decided that we were too good to let anybody come here. That we we're to not too good to let people come here. Uh, I'm aware of that. We're, we're not that great. Our country was founded we, on immigrants. We accept everybody. Hold we're the melting pot of the, of the, of the globe. You, we you all know that. I don't think I, I think we get lost in the, in the feelings and, and um, Does he support Trump? Uh, I don't know. Do you? Yeah, he does. I think he does. I, I did. You know what I mean? I voted for him. But I so, think a lot of it was because I was susceptible to his, like, pandering, and I was really bought into his, you oh. know, hey, make America great again, and I was like, oh, shit, like, I bought Hey, guys, well, hashtag Haga. Well, here's the thing. You know, we have a process in place. Also, just, just use the process. I, yeah, if I support somebody Well, I was, I was kind of just, I was trying, I was trying to, like, bust balls and do the whole nose. Uh, right? We have a process in place. Just use the process. Well, I don't, you know, yeah, it sucks. Just, like, waiting in DMV to get a fucking license sucks, but you have to do it. I mean, you know, that's. Do you, do you, can you agree that some instances are probably more extreme than others and can't wait for that process? Like what? No. Well, give me one. All right, let me give you an example. Sure. Um, so, say you're going to the hospital. Yep. And the ho- the process is, hey, you need to check in at the window. You need to fill out this form, and you need to give me your ID card, and I need to make sure that you have insurance. Well, that but is let, the process. Okay, yep. That, so that's a process, but. Now, Lily has an injury where she's in excruciating pain, and maybe her life is at risk, and you carry her into the hospital. Yeah, they bypass the process. Okay, so there are some certain uh, instances where it should be bypassed. and That's, that's not the majority. It's not the majority, but I feel like I can look at those situations, man, and, and realize that a lot of the people that are here illegally are because of those instances. Like they have Oh, no so choice. what about gang shootings that are in Florida and those people get admitted to the hospital because they literally get shot up an entire block in Miami what and there's them? helicopters and what those people them? get admitted to the hospital. We pay for them and all their medical treatment. I mean, we also pay like, tens of millions of dollars. Yeah, I bet we pay a lot yeah. more as the fucking result of and citizens And where does, where does Narcan come yeah, from? Yeah, but that... But the difference is But the difference is Narcan, do you think Narcan, not Narcan should not be not Narcan. Free, like free for people? Why are we so we we don't give people with Wait, let's that. stay on the subject for no, no, a second. No, no, I, I, I want to hear her point. I think we're I know we can, no, we can we can get, no we can get back to that. Let's stay on the on the whole immigration thing immigration. because Do you have anything else to add? Yeah, I was going to add the yeah. fact that people get fucking so if somebody gets pulled somebody gets pulled over somebody sleeping in their car. If you're if you're napping in your car in Florida, a cop can walk up and narcan you thinking you're fucking passed out because of fucking overdosing. That but just seems stupid. I feel like they should just wake you up. For it's a, it's imagine? it's yeah. not stupid actually. Like no, happens. I think it is. I'm, I'm not so, saying that. So, but they, they'll narcan you because they think that you could be potentially dead because you're sleeping in your car. But yeah. they don't know if you're. They don't know what's going on. So they'll like straight up narcan you. But if somebody needs an epipen, every epipen's like five hundred dollars, and those people like need it. And that's just. I th- oh, I think that there's a bit of inaccuracy in what you're talking about. There, right now. There's no inaccuracy, and uh, do you know how much an epipen costs? So right costs? now, <laughs> yes, four or five hundred bucks. Yep. Right now, you know how much you, Narcan is? They'll shoot you up with it on. for free if you're sitting in the parking lot, just, just a, taking a nap. To if you right now had an allergic reaction and you were about to die, if I call nine one one and they come here and they see that, what do you think they're going to do? Take care of me. What do you mean by take it's care of It's the HIPAA laws. They, hold on, hold on. They're going to give you an EpiPen. Of course, but I still have to pay for it because they're going to get my insurance. They're going to okay. get my health. So if, I, gonna bill if I OD. Later. If I'm illegal, they have nobody no, no, to bill. No, no. So this, it goes on the But you're talking about Narcan. Narcan and illegals are separate. 
If I'm I talking OD, about EpiPens, Narcan. I'm talking about all of it. Those all are, the drugs, okay, all so the treatment, EpiPens, all hospital treatment, period. EpiPens and Narcan. If I fall and break right my now, ass and I'm illegal, but everyone else is paying for it. If I OD, gonna, we don't have a billing address. So you agree then? Like Comparing EpiPens and Narcan is kind of a silly thing to compare. I wasn't necessarily trying to make a direct uh, she, gotcha. Her point comparison. Her point is that if they're legal, is that, if, if if the legals are here, we should let them die. I never said that. What are you saying? She's saying that we have to pay for it. Okay. And that's not fair. I think that... Fact. Sure. That's fine. Much. Say, say if we don't have to pay for that. But I think that... We do have to pay there, for that, though. I think there are many, many more ways that our government is fucking us over than the cost that oh, it takes I to take, take care of illegal. But that doesn't that negate just, the fact that her point yeah, is valid. Yeah. Sure, it doesn't. I, I, I mean, there's I other things we need to and worry you know about, And you know how expensive? Just, a, just an ambulance ride's like 15 grand. I mean, think about the, per, the... What was that guy? The illegal in California who killed... He was, mm. he was deported, I think, several times. He yeah. came back, snuck back over, kept sneaking back over, killed some young chick. Wait, hold and on. Now, so and he now, was deported, and then he came back? Yeah. yeah. Uh, and now... Right. So, I mean, he's fucking criminally but wait, sneaking no, in. But, but nobody wants a saying, wall. But what, what well, I'm saying I didn't is say anything about it. We didn't talk about a wall. Hold on. But can I finish my sentence? Yeah, yeah, I, yeah, I didn't finish my sentence. Right, right, sorry. Let him in and said, Let me finish my sentence. Just let me finish my sentence. So, he sneaks back in. This is why our immigration policy is fucked up. It, we're sacrificing American citizens' lives because our immigration policy is fucked up, and yeah. we don't have enough security yeah. to uh, to mm. to you know keep illegal immigrants out. Because of that, people are suffering. Imagine if that was your your son. Imagine if that was your wife. Imagine if that was your your sister, your mother, whoever. You would have a different opinion about the illegals. Cosine. Like, what is he doing here in the fucking first place? Again, 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 again. Maybe. Again. Oh, you can use that example with anything. I mean, there, like, when there are kids being separated. But it's hold still on. valid. Yeah, oh, it, it is Lord. valid. But hold on. The justification of relevancy to compare it to you something else is just. You have to just be more just... open minded to this conversation. Because if you're using a very specific example and saying, I'd be. I more need more pineapple juice for my vodka. To, I'll be back. To that side, then of course I would. You know, like, now there's an emotional attachment. But if your, you know, if your daughter and her mother were coming here from another country, and ICE decided at the border that hey they're gonna separate them, now your daughter is traumatized for the rest of her life because she was put in a cage or whatever, you'd be a little more empathetic to that situation. Well, that scenario, no, I wouldn't. First well, of all, well, you should. I mean, I'm, no, I'm absolutely, I would. I think you should. Absolutely not, because I, me as a as a father, I would never put my kids in that kind yeah, of scenario. All right, so that's like saying, hey, me as a father, I would never put my kids in the scenario to get. Shot up in a theater by. Or no, it's not. That's totally it different, is, bro. I mean, it's very if well we, known if that. We're gonna speak in hypotheticals, hold on, no, no, no. Speak in hypotheticals. Wait, wait, bro. You, you come on. You're reaching, yeah. George. Can you get the door? <laughs> you're, you, that, that's that's a very far reach. You know that you're putting your family in a predicament when you're trying to sneak into a country, right? Not going to the movies. Okay, but hypothetically, <laughs> they might be in a situation where that's their only way to live because they're going to get killed or they're going to get raped in another country. Why would you put your family in that I'm kind sorry, of predicament? Are we, wait, are we, still, are we still on? Yeah, absolutely. Okay. On. We're not going to stop it just because you got to get a drink. Okay, so can I smoke <laughs> a cigarette? Well, sure. Yeah. I, I mean, you can do whatever you want. We're not going to tell you what you can't do. You're, oh, can we pause? Oh, wait, were we online? We're not like, going to pause ever. Are we like lived? Yeah. Well, we're not live broadcasting, but I mean, we're. Can we pause recording. it for one second? Hey, what's up, Gina? No. Can we pause? Yeah, we're not going to pause it, but you can go do it. Oh, okay, cool. <laughs> I'm like, I don't want to, like, blow the whole fucking. I think we're past that. No, but you understand what I'm saying. You can't come that like a champ. Cheers. You can't compare going to the theater and getting shot up versus. Putting your, your children in a predicament trying to sneak into another country. I'm just saying, if we're going to use hypotheticals, you can use a hypothetical in any way you want just to skew like, your but opinion. But it's, it's not really skewing at all. It I is. mean, it's it's just it's bare common sense fact. You know... It's common sense <laughs> fact to yeah. hypothetical? What do you mean? Not, but you're calling it a hypothetical. It's not really hypothetical. It, Listen, it, if that on, if, Jay, if, if those illegals said, were if, not... If you said, let, well, hold hey, on, let me finish. If that was your son... But it really wasn't. I'm That's what a hypothetical is. But the scenario is not because it happens in real life. If we if we if we don't allow legals to come into this country, they don't have an opportunity to kill our citizens, right? If you don't allow your kid to the movies, they'll never get shot up in a movie theater. Well, that's just ridiculous to compare because it's going to going going. Hold on, it's not a no no. You're you're stretching. Isolated situation. Going to the theater is a very common thing that happens every day. Okay, and people in <laughs> not sneaking into countries. In Venezuela, it's a very common thing. For but we're talking about America. Country. 
We're well, talking a, about America. What I'm saying it's a common thing for them to flee to America. But it's not a common thing to sneak into other countries. It's a common thing for them to sneak into America. Because it's America. That's that's their what? way of life, not, right, not we're, ours. We're spinning wheels here and nothing is getting accomplished. Let's well, I know, because you're not admitting to the fact that no, you're comparing to apples and oranges. I don't think that I am. Okay, sneaking to another country is totally different than bringing your kids to the movies. If you're in America, <laughs> yes. If in America, no shit. Yes. Well, no, anywhere. No, go to any country. That, okay, how many movie theaters are in Uganda? I don't fucking know how many fucking people from you Uganda th- sneak into fucking other countries. Can you look that up? No, I bet more people. <laughs> you want to compare? I bet, that? I bet more people sneak out of Uganda <laughs> than go to the movies. <laughs> I would actually agree with you. <laughs> That's what I'm saying, dude. Like, it's like, it's, come on, stop it. You know what I'm saying. saying no, you disagree because, yes, like, in America, these are norms. Like, going to the movies is a normal thing. All right. Walking sneaking outside, into other countries yeah. is not a norm anywhere. From, bro, <laughs> sneaking out of your country, which means you have to sneak into another country, is a Shut norm up. in some places. Shut dude. up, dude. Bro, Shut it up. Is, and I'm sorry, I'm sorry that you can never admit that, hey, I might have fucked you. You just compared mistake, it man. to going to the movies. Like, oh, if you don't bring your kid to the movies, then he won't get shot. Like, bro, are you serious? You only know about how you would feel about sneaking out of America, not sneaking out of another country. And that's the thing. You might be right or you might be wrong. I just don't pretend. I'm 150% right I just right don't that pretend one. to know what it's like to live into a fucking, in a, in a war. It doesn't country. matter. It that, doesn't that's irrelevant. It, you think so. I don't think so. I know. I, most uh, people agree with me. Like, I don't think so. No, I don't think most people agree with you at all. That's, you know, that, that's why Trump is president. You realize less people voted for him, right? <sighs> oh, gosh. Stop it. Oh, my God. Do you realize that California has more fucking people, uh, more electoral saying, votes we than very, we and, and black, New York? We New York, New York has more fucking term. electoral votes. So if <laughs> like, you don't know what more means, I can just school you. Just on that real quick. stop. Because more on. people stop voted it, stop against it, him than for him. Obviously not. That's not true. No, it's not true. George, it's actually a skewed George, statistic. I need you to verify that real quick. You'd have to look up electoral you votes. You just have to look up the popular vote. That's it. That's all you have to look up. Can you tell me how who who got more votes, Trump or Hillary? Wait, can you laugh at this? My dad just sent me this. That's all I wanted to do. I'm just popping back in. So my dad just (laughs) sent me a funny-ass fucking meme. What? What does it say? What is the difference between an illegal immigrant and E.T.? E.T. learned to speak English and wanted to go home. (laughs) Jeez. I have no empathy. Well, no, I have empathy for a situation. I don't have no sympathy for people that break the law purposely, knowingly, knowledgeably. And that's what illegal immigrants do, knowing that there's a way that you come into the front door. I don't give a flying fuck what they're running from. That doesn't mean that, hey, listen, I'm broke. Does that mean I can go rob a bank? Well, hold on. I just said I'm broke. That doesn't justify, you know, the action. I, I understand what you're saying, and I understand how you feel. I personally, if are retarded, if you're a single mom, and and I, I don't know why I'm pointing at you, because I guess you're a woman. But female. if you're a single dad and you have four kids and you work your balls off, but you just don't have enough money to feed them, and you still bread, yes, I know it's against the law, but I'm gonna be a little sympathetic for you because you're just trying to feed your kids. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? Like I, I get where you're coming from. Whatever, don't break the law. It's easy to say that because it's black and white. Well, let, let me and ask it's you easy this: easy to equate the law to morality, but I just I don't do. That. How about the person that owns the bakery? It's actually not. Hold on, easy wait, to hold on. Before you say anything, how about the person that owns the bakery that is trying to feed his kids, but now you're stealing from him? I get it. I get it. It's All actually right, not. So it's not relevant to equate um, a family for just feeding their kids to make it on everyone else that you can't feed your kids. What? It, it's you shouldn't you shouldn't push something. You shouldn't make people feel bad for you because you you choose to be irresponsible and not be able to take care of your children. Like you make choices. Yeah, Life is a it. whole we game of choices. That. So if but you don't want to have children, you can't afford to feed children. Don't fucking have unprotected sex and have children. How easy is that? Boosh. I get what you're saying. You know what I mean? Like it, so it's like it doesn't fall on other people's shoulders because you want us to feel bad because you make shitty life decisions. Like, I make bad decisions, but you know what? I, I make don't horrible have, life decisions. And I don't have kids, though. Mm-hmm. Just saying. But I don't have fucking, you know... I wake up every day, and sometimes my decisions are good. Uh, you know, uh, microcosm. If I look at just my life, you know, separate from everybody else, if I just yeah. solely look at my life as an example... Would you want everyone else because to, Because like, of my bad decisions... You? That doesn't mean I can take from somebody else. Exactly. That doesn't mean I can mm. violate somebody else just because I suck. Yeah. Just suck alone. Suck alone you, by yourself. You, you die. Just suck by your fucking <laughs> self. You shouldn't. 
I, I get. We do though. We do though. All I, of us take it on the chin and have to say we feel bad. No, but we all, everyone, every American has to say, "Oh, we feel bad. We feel bad. We feel this. We feel that." Can you because switch to her camera washes brush her hair, please. This is great. Oh, you want me to do it again? <laughs> it's, just, it's a first for us. I don't know how to react. It's, what? It's cool. This is a comb and. Can I use it? Welcome to the '80s. Yeah, my sisters used to have those things. What are they banana called? Clips. Banana clips? This is a perfect fucking beard thing. Oh my gosh, ew, please don't brush your beard with that. <laughs> I don't think you understand how clean my beard is. I don't know if I want it. I don't know if I want it back. He just broke it. Slight change. No, he didn't break it. Okay. No, I just took it apart so you can put it together. I thought it was broken, dude. <laughs> hey, easy puzzle. I heard a crack easy, and I'm like, oh. Easy puzzle. Now we totally beat the fucking whole immigration thing. Well, Even though, you know what? I got boys back home that were illegal. Shout out to my boys. You know who you, you you know who are. They got deported. Whatever. Blah blah. I I I am empathetic to the fact. Like fuck, man. That sucks. We're friends. We're we we grew up together. We fought together. We fucked together. We did what? drugs together. We no, we did. All, these are my boys. You know, like from you back home. You, you fucked all your boys, but you're bitching about Alabama being. No, I didn't fuck all my boys. I said we fucked. That. I said we fucked together. Like How you know, I'm just I'm just trying to say. I didn't fuck and all my I'm boys. Confused. <laughs> And you know my, my friend, he, you know he, he got deported, and I, I'm, I That's understand. That's why Jersey is not that cool. Like <laughs> Jay is like, yeah, oh my boy. He's like, oh, Jersey, he's like, oh, he's like, not we, all of them, but he's like, oh, we uh, fucked together. I didn't, I didn't fuck we my boys. Fuck together, oh, we fuck. He's like, so I get it, bro. Like now they're stuck with girlfriends and shit. And now they got to turn to girls. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. Nah, anyway, so we just we ride it solo. Just immigration ride it solo. <laughs> I just think you know, like there, there are some things that we're always gonna have to realize that you're gonna, you know, you're gonna feel a certain way about it, and I'm gonna feel a certain way about it. I do, and you know what? There's really nothing concrete that we can just say. Can I tell you what I feel a really certain way about? This might give me a little heat, but what I feel a real certain way about? I was trying to go to college. Tell us what grinds your gears. Fucking grinds my ass. ass. Real (laughs) fucking grinds my gears. Really eats my cheez its. I don't fucking know that. Eats my cheez its. Whatever. That's a new one. So, That's a way to describe what bothers the shit out of me is like, I was, I'm a single woman. I was trying to pay for college. I can't get anything in terms. I've lived alone since you I was know, 18. She's, serious, she's doing this Twizzler thing. You should just yeah. strip. Like, I, if no. I was a single woman, I'd be stripping. You can make bank. I have morals and I like. Am, I know strippers that are I'm, fucking I may have a foul morals. mouth and I'm a little crazy. I have a foul mouth. I'm a little crazy. However, strippers what I'm. Have morals. Um, don't don't shame sex workers. They show like, their vagina and like. So what? It's fucking body parts, skin. No, there's some things that should be left. All right, show everybody your dick. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> fucking turn. Exactly. Whip it out. Whip it out. Can, you zoom, it out. Way in? Can you zoom way in? But no. So what really? What the biggest thing that ever grinded my gears, which made me get into politics, because I was never into politics, was when I started living alone. I was 18 and other women that I know and I love them to death and they know that I love them to death and I Pigs. never will castrate not castrate that's a bad word um, I will never um, judge any of their decision making or what they did <laughs> wait, wait a second you confused judge with castrate well I said castrate because the castrate I'm like oh, it just flew out of my mouth oh I love that I've had that a couple of the teams. best thing that ever there's a little so, overstatement like, oh, I didn't mean castrate you know, you, he judge. obviously Jay he hasn't read my Facebook has he <laughs> I don't even know I just met you right yeah, now okay. I'm gonna J- read Jay it knows now, my though. Facebook that's what it's I said it's Brittany bitch bitch okay <laughs> It's Britney, bitch. I feel like I'm going to get an Oops, I Did It Again video if I type that in. Go ahead. Whatever. What were you saying? What um, What scuffs your muff? What'd what you say? What scuffs my muffle. <laughs> scuffs my muffle. Tickle. Not doesn't tickle my fancy. What uh, is the opposite of tickling my fancy. What just chaps the fuck out of my ass. Okay. So I fucking go. I'm living alone since I was 18. I'm trying to go to college. I'm doing the right thing. I'm living alone. Go to apply for loans. Can't get shit. Nothing. Nobody helps you. Nobody helps you. I watch a lot of my friends have multiple children. They get free college, free housing. And I'm like, damn, where did I go wrong? Oh, because I choose to be responsible. That's what made me decide to vote Republican. I'm going to say this on here because it's the truth. I wanted to vote more Republican. And, and actually, I was independent for a while because I was kind of like, eh, I don't know, because... I feel like Republicans are a little cuckoo in terms of all be. of their policies, which is, I'm very sure everyone knows. Yeah, yeah, very, very fair to say. However, it just like, it bothered me because, because I choose to live alone and do the right thing. I get no help for college. I get no help for school. And I pretty much couldn't afford it. But if I had kids with three people, 
five You'd people, have all these programs. I would literally be able you. to go to college for free. It, Couldn't you say the same though if you just made less money? If you made less money, you'd probably be entitled. So to that. The same. So you're saying that if my work ethic, ethic wasn't nope, strong, I didn't say work ethic. I said if. You no, but made, you're saying that if I made less money as no. a bartender, I bartend guys. Okay, fair. So enough. if I made less money as a bartender, what he's trying to say is like. I'm so, not trying to say. I am saying. So you're telling me to be lazier. No, you're no, telling no. me to not have right, my work me, ethic. Let me pose it in a question: Aren't a lot of these government assistant programs based on income? Yes. Okay. So I'm I'm asking a very direct question then. Okay, so if, if I make money, just as much, if I make just more money, so like this is actually relevant because it's actually happened in my life. So I can actually I, tell you say, facts I, about. I have it. kids. I've I got no, but I can tell you before. facts about my situation. Me too. I literally moved back to Rhode Island. I did the one thing which I never thought I would do is I went on Obamacare. Oh my God! I thought you were gonna say something. No, something I went on stuff. Obamacare because you know what I said. I've been paying into this shit my whole life. I was like, I don't have a job yet. You know what ended up happening? I fucking got kicked off Obamacare. They fucking raped me for, I don't know, I think like $700 out of my tax returns just because I was on Obamacare. They kicked me off in the middle of my month because I made too much money for the year to date. Mm -hmm. And um, yeah. It's like, what's the incentive There's, to work harder and then if, I pay, you, could, if you get more with less? To me, that, that, doesn't, that has nothing to do with your work ethic or uh, how you so are you're as a saying person. like so if i had the same an, it's an in, uh, it's an income based decision so you're saying so so what you're trying to tell me is like if i decided to not work as hard as i do i could be poorer and they could give me more so I mean, like i should get, do yeah, that you, so you're telling you me i should do, do that, that. I'm so like if you, I have children with so other you're people. Words in my mouth. Like, no, but it's, I, the I truth, it's, it's the truth though. It's the truth though. Because I'm yeah. not saying that. I'm telling you the facts. Like if you understand how it works. But that's the, the way it works. The, and the way that's it works the way is, the system yes. works. If you earned less, you would get more assistance. If, if I you earned, earned more, less, you would I would get, get less get, assistance. But if I learned less without having children, they wouldn't give one shit about me. And okay, cool. Because so you're not, saying that if they, only I they earned. They shouldn't, though. They shouldn't. Oh, they, but but because I, are, I so earn more, so they shouldn't give a shit about me either or my future. Are. There's so definitely state, an injustice there. I so know what you're saying. So our state should not saying. care no, about no, no, no. our state, our, our country the should. The right now, you're taking it personally, and it's not a personal Well, it is personal so because, like, say you're saying. Our country is literally telling me that because I'm choosing to be responsible, I shouldn't have any equal opportunities because I choose to be more responsible without no, having children. That's not what the country says. That's not what the government say. Let me, let me, I, I want to break it down in a, in a like a... In Barney easy, style. Yeah, Barney style, to be simple. So if the government said, hey, Brittany, you have no kids, here's a thousand dollars. They don't say that. They say, hey, Brittany, here's zero dollars, okay, you so, have no kids. Hey, Brittany, here's zero dollars. Yep. You have no kids. Yep. If you now have a kid who doesn't have the option to fend for itself... Should the government maybe say, all right, we want to at least make sure the kids so are taken you're, care we're of. giving money to irresponsible people to have children because they're irresponsible. So, like, it, these parents that are okay. having children that don't have the money to take care of them, they don't have the money to take care of them, period. That's why they qualify for it. Maybe, so, but, so, maybe, so, 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 we're maybe. giving money to people to, sure. to take care of children can they can't take care of. No, I think it's the, the truth. But I think the end result is that at least we know the kid's going to be taken care of. Well, here's well, the How do you know? Because that person can spend the money however they want. Yeah, but that person could take care of the kids, which is... Can I interject really fast? Fast. Probably the majority. Can I, the majority can I interject? Is, no, 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 no. The majority is that kids. There's actually care. truth to what so. to what you're both saying. So well, mainly what I'm saying, though. <laughs> no, there, there's care. actually. Listen, we're a mature fucking show here, so. The, <laughs> there's truth to what you're both it's saying. Like, I know what she's saying. Like, you know, obviously, everybody that if they want to sit on their ass, they can more, they can collect not? all the fucking the money, the programs, the benefits if just for sitting on your ass. Polidin needs more vodka, bro. Go ahead. Why the fuck is still saying that? That's not vodka. It's vodka. It's just brown vodka. Hey, let's take a quick not, break. And let's give a vodka. quick thank to our sponsor, Old Smoky Tennessee it's Whiskey. This is a salty caramel whiskey. Guys. I think, I, 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 think I spit incredible. a little Twizzler on here. That's all right. Jay spit semen on it, too. So. Oh, he does. Probably. What did you say earlier? Like, I didn't he's fuck got the all my jerseys. He's got the violet, mic, And it's violet, violet. Uh, violet, violet. <laughs> violet? You're turning violet. <laughs> Is that not a classic movie or what? All right, wait. We're taking a break. Let's take a break. I don't know. Do we you don't want to take, take a break. break. You just said take. You, you said let's Why take every a break. Why is time I talk? I Everybody's like, hey, let's take a break. Stick with the Cheetos. Oh shit! Look at you. Crunch, like crunch, crunch. I'm gonna be crunching all over the show. Just kidding. All right. Is so, all right, we beat the fucking immigration shit. Yeah, and, and to sum it up, like we're never. There's never gonna be a policy, whether it's immigration. 
or or, a cheeto. or abortion or I love immigrants gays like it's never gonna be universally agreed upon you know what I mean there's always gonna be different fucking opinions man why are you laughing over there just the fact that like one of us is right and the rest of y'all are wrong like we it is what it is I don't think that anyone's really right I think it's just opinions and I think that everyone's credit is due for fucking guy over here (laughs) like you asked me to come on the podcast now you're silencing me (laughs) oh fucking lord silencing her silencing is the last thing you can't silence me if you said hey you have to describe this is what Hispanics do they just fucking take over shit if you you have have to describe let's build a wall right here silent would be so (laughs) far down on the list like it would be way down there because silent you are not no, I just think that you yep, 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 yep. have your own opinions yeah. on things. And However, do I do, cool. and but I'm also like open to other people's opinions. However, like there's Are just you? a certain level of respect that's given for people that like. Uh, for me personally, it's like more of, and I'm not like labeling you. I'm. I'm do you think I disrespect any of your opinions? No, 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 no. Like but I, I think that from where no, we no, no. live and for the popularity and. For like the 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 um, commonality of what would be the most popular thing for people to say is you gotta have somebody over here saying the fucking damn side. Yeah, I you know I used to think the way that you thought. Nah, and, probably no, I, not. I did. But then I uh, sometimes I think because I, I feel like our country is going in a very fucking like liberal lefty way. Yeah, because everyone's getting trophies even though they're not yeah, in first place. Maybe, maybe, but see, you be Sensitive. surprised. That's so true. Like, I have two kids, and when. There's been you want times, them all to get trophies? There's been times where they they could have gotten trophies at the end of a sport event, and I looked at my girl and I'm like, oh, we're not getting them. Like they lost, they didn't win. Like we're not we're not accepting a trophy for this. We're Why are they even here. offering them though? They're just wasting. Well, I don't care. That's not my problem. The taxpayer, only, money. My taxpayer, only, money. taxpayer money. Taxpayer money. Taxpayer money. Hundred percent not taxpayer money. Oh, you realize that right? From programs. You know how sports works. Like we pay them. We give them our money. Josh pay your money. Talking about programs. Josh pay your money. Talking Josh pay your money. No, I'm talking about the fucking the money that I pay into the wrestling thing. There have been wrestling tournaments where my kids have competed in, and at the end of the tournament, they could have went and picked up a medal or a trophy just for competing, and we left. Like we just leave because I, I, I want a participation feel, trophy for wiping my ass. Yeah, at the end of the, well, mm, let me get that's one. That's actually debatable. No, but I don't feel like we Are should celebrate ready? mediocrity. Yeah. Go. Is it in your mouth. Uh huh. That was a. Oh! Did you get that camera? No, that was my throw. It still went in. Did you really just do that? No, that was my throw. That was my throw. I hit it. It still went in. I spun it. Did you get that? I Bro, what? Yes, that was the best throw. I I think it was actually a shitty throw and I deflected it. it No, your finger barely touched it. Oh, my finger touches everything. He's got it. He's got it. He's got it. You'll see. My finger fucking deflected. My fat ass ate it. Of course you did. What the fuck? That was a perfect throw. Did you really just do that? Yeah. Okay, that was too high. Hit, hit, but hit, it was still dead on. I went on, in on this. I went in on this. Throw me one. Oh, you want to do it? <laughs> what? What else? Oh, you, yeah. want me, you want me to lob you a Cheeto? I want you to throw it in my mouth right now. That is the gayest shit I ever heard you fucking say. Oh, Lord. <laughs> I want you to throw it in oh, my mouth God. right now. No, that was straight perfect, though. Dude, that was I, like, I know, that like landed right on that my That gives tongue, like, like those hibachi chefs a run for their money. That was almost yeah. like salt. Oh, like know? the sprinkle me? Like the sprinkle me? <laughs> Isn't it funny how some people just go viral and you think like, wow, they're famous now. And then a week later, you're like, who? That guy? The salt guy? What's he up to? <sighs> oh, yeah, that's right. He owns like 30 restaurants. He's the most popular. Chef. Wait, does he? Yeah. He's definitely not the most popular chef in the world. Right now? Do me a favor. Google. Dave, who do you think is the most popular chef in the world? Gordon Ramsay. Gordon Ramsay. Gordon Ramsay. By the way, everybody, this is Dave. Yeah. This is our friend Dave. It's definitely not this guy, right? No, I'm not a chef. I work for a living. What? <laughs> no, no, the guy that sprinkles the salt like all oh, the yeah. fucking... No, the Emerald. Bam! Oh, he's, either, pretty, yes. he's pretty big. He's and he's pretty old, big. though. Emerald's old, though. Oh, Emerald's old, old though. Too. Yeah, no, I mean, Emerald is like famous... I would say Gordon Ramsay. Uh, right? I'm not sure. I'd say Dave Stegham. <laughs> what? Who? Yeah. Are you... Oh, all right. I'm like, I've never heard of that guy. The famous, he most cooks famous it. chef in the world. <laughs> Shout out to Dave. He's the head cook at Legends. He gets shit. Legends Pub and uh, Grub. Oh, Lord. Why'd you scream? So I don't know. We have to edit that. that. You could have just turned Oh, we're going to edit this. Oh, we're going to edit that. Oh, we're going to edit this. <laughs> <laughs> He's just going to turn the volume down. He's not yeah, because he's going to yell it in people's... All right, ladies and gents, we've come to the segment of the show where we all show our tits. So, here we go. <gasps> He's first. 
Well, you're really bringing this podcast to like a whole new level, huh? I'm just trying to get views, you know what I mean? I'm trying to make it NC-17 and PG. Above? Hey, I can come back on here again now that I'm like not. I was I was so scared to come on here. Were Wait, you really? Gents. Is that why you canceled the first time? Well, no. I was, I was going through a lot of shit, so. I was going through a lot of shit, so we canceled the first time, it. but this is lots <laughs> of fun. As what you, I, we talked. We talked. I know. Well, you know, hey, look. I was going through a lot of shit, but. I was actually talking. Not talking shit about you as a person, but as a guest, I didn't have any faith that you were ever showing up. Because actually, a lot of times when people cancel on us, yeah. they just like, you know, that's I don't last know. year of them. I only know that from being. But she sales. explained it. She you said, you know, look, I really, really want to be on. I, you yeah. know, she was feeling like shit. Yeah. I just, I did sales for a lot of, you know, like a lot of my. No, I know, and I'm, but I'm, I'm, people I, I follow through. They really want to cancel. No, I follow through. It was just I was going through a little. I've been going through a little difficult time. I lost three out of my four grandparents, so kind of going through. Some oh, shit. Yeah. I'm sorry just you're going some, through that, by the way. No, it was okay. I'm okay. And, um, yeah. And it I just. I like the black belt. Well, that means that she's really not okay. No, no I'm totally okay. You know what they say about the black chokers? You know what that means? You got a black belt. I'm in, a choker. No, it means you got a black belt in. Mm, mm, mm. I'm not oh, Lord. Yeah, everyone. That, somebody else said that to me. Karate? Can you just Google no, this s- question? No. What does a black choker mean? Somebody else said that to me, and I was like, oh, doesn't my tongue ring give that away already? Mm, tongue rings are like a little. I don't know. I don't get it. Ten years late. Like, You're not that kind of girl. Day late. Nope. More apt to bite your penis off than suck it. Nah. Fuck. Whoa. All right. Hey, so we're... Yeah. <laughs> we're going to conclude this section. <laughs> How long have we been going? An hour and 15. How long are we going yeah, for? Good. As long as, as we want, if, actually. If Jay asks, eight minutes. If I ask... No, I don't ever go that fucking minutes. long. <laughs> If I ask, we were already done. Three eight minutes. I'm. I don't even give a we fuck. Just go till we wrap up. You know, we're done. <laughs> what else? What else is going on in the news? Um, hmm. Fuck the news. Let's just. You know, let's just bullshit. We do a, a great job of that. No, we don't. Yeah. We've been literally doing a great job of what's in the news. Uh, we went tangent to tangent for like about five seconds. Oh, really? Five what seconds. did we go tangent on? Tell me. Oh, you Tell told us what me. it was like working at what? Hooters. Did we go tangent on oh. abortion? Was that... Shh. All right, go. Hooters. Hooters. Right. So Everything, much fun. With all due respect to Hooters, can... Why did you work at Hooters? Why did they hire um, because you? Because I make a lot of money off of stupid Why? fucking men that like to Hooters? look at my tits and look at my ass. All right, show us what and you mean. No. Fine. And that's the whole thing. It's like, no, you don't have to show your tits, show your ass, and then you get a lot of money out of a lot of but fucking is it, old men. Is it in a family restaurant? Of course. We have it children. can be. Like, if you're the kind of parent that brings your kid to Hooters, like, come on, bro. Are you fucking serious? So, okay, this is what's kind of stupid about people mm, like you. No, it's not. Is like that you people the, like you. The you fact that you say that, like, kids, that people that bring their kids there, it's like, we're just normal people. We actually wear more than women wear at the beach. And like we just happen to be exuberating to personality. So the reason why I'm probably on here is because I exuberate personality. Yeah, that's So fine. maybe my Hooters started my. You want me to tell you why Jay said you were coming on? Perfect. Tell me. Because you smoke your Hooters and you have nice Hooters. Perfect. I never fucking said that. He could have <laughs> said that, and I don't care because you know what, Jay? I love you. He I didn't say that, I and if he did say that, I wouldn't admit it openly. <laughs> oh my lord! Because it's my boy, it. bros before Hooters. What? You actually know that I know Jay's brother better than I know Jay, right? I love Jeff. I know that. Jeff. Jeff, what up? Shout Jeff, Jeff, you fucking turd. It's, <laughs> you sit at table 45. Hey, right, Jeff, so. Jeff was actually saying about you. He's like, oh, you know, bring that fucking kid around. I want to meet him, whatever, blah, blah, blah. Talk about you. I'm, I'm like, one old is enough for me. Jeff, miss ya. I hope that you're doing well. I know you went through some shit, but I, I, I still you know love, you. Dude, I love you. I love you. I always see his picture in my He's always been a great guy. Facebook, and I'm like, damn. He's just like a healthier version of Jay. Yeah, that's right. He's like he's in better shape. He's a fucking like, like and crazier. He's version. way crazier. Yeah, he's Jeff's got the, crazier. He's got the face. He's got no, the Jeff's eyes. Jeff's crazier than oh Jay. I feel like I could say some shit to Jay. He won't Jay admit might, that. Oh, no, no. He looks like he's fucking... Jeff won't admit that you're crazier than him? He Put it this way. tells everybody that I am. If, I, ever, if I was ever in a room with you and your brother, and I'm saying this just based on his face hey, you know what? alone, he would stab me before you would stab me. You know, we would go to... Uh, oh, I don't know. A little bit. We could probably fucking wrap this up. A tad. Give it a, a whip. Can you say bye? If you want to. Bye. I don't know. Whatever. I don't like ever saying goodbye. I want to talk to you guys all the time. I want to say hi and bye because I want to come back. Do you? Hey, we'll do a fucking wrap around episode. Let's discuss that first. Reach around episode. Oh, we'll discuss that first. That means he doesn't want me to come back. 
All right. <laughs> All right, everybody. Thanks for listening. Let me first say I want to give a big shout out. To all the bitches and hoes, Bill Gluckman is down with the bitches and hoes. And thank you to our sponsors, first and foremost, DDP, who is usually at Legends, where we are right now, Donkey Dodgers Poker. Uh, you can find them on Facebook. Also, a big shout out to Onlyville Tires. Holla at Dory when you go to Onlyville Tires. J&W Sons Construction. Oh, shit, you need some kitchen work. Oh, shit, you need some uh, woodwork. Whatever the fuck construction companies do, they got you. Division Street Auto, tire changes, lube jobs, transmissions. Just go see George. Like, quit fucking around. Go see George. And shout out to Aunt Cam the Barber. If you've been watching this episode, look at this fucking crisp. Look at my, look at my, look at my face. That's why you want to go see Aunt Cam the Barber. All right? Look at me. That's why. I'm ugly. He makes me look handsome. Go see Tops Electric. Tops Electric is in the building. Whatever your lighting needs are. George, I'm missing somebody. Who I got? 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 Oh, Legend. How, how could I forget? I didn't forget. I saved the best for last. Legends. Legends Pub and Grub. They got the fucking great food, great drinks, great service, and they're lovely enough to let us host our podcast here. So if you're ever out and about, if you have a 21st birthday party, bachelor party, bar mitzvah, whatever the fuck it is, go to Legends Pub and Grub. See my motherfucking man, Dave. He's going to be in the kitchen cooking you up. That razzle-dazzle fucking egg roll galore. Love you guys. Bye-bye.